A couple of days ago, I made a video about how Trump was named the Prince of Peace by the Israel Heritage Foundation, and I posted an image of the plaque at the base of the menorah that he was given. I just want to briefly post a couple of other images that are a little better resolution, both of this particular ward and of another that the Israel Heritage Foundation had given Trump back in July of 2023. That particular award was called the Crown of Jerusalem Award and was a silver Torah crown contained in a glass box. And I'll zoom in so you can read the plaque a little more easily. An inscription at the bottom noted Trump's extraordinary and heroic efforts to help the state of Israel and the Jewish people. With their most recent award, the Israel Heritage Foundation gave Trump what was referred to as the Covenant of Peace Award to the Prince of Peace, President Donald J. Trump. And here's an image that makes it a little bit easier to read what is on the plaque. I'll put a link down in the description where you can see photos from these two events, and those images are on the Israel Heritage Foundation website. And I have to say, of all the constant reminders of how Trump lines up so perfectly with the biblical Antichrist, there is none more striking than him actually being given what's called a Covenant of Peace Award and him being referred to as the Prince of Peace. Yesterday, I did a poll asking Trump supporters whether the fact that he was called the Prince of Peace had bothered them at all. Most of the people who answered were not Trump supporters. But if we count just those who self-identify as Trump supporters, which is approximately 9% of the respondents, we're left with the stunning fact that nearly 45% of them said either that Trump is the Prince of Peace because he wants to end all wars, or that it doesn't bother them at all. All of this is more proof of how strong the delusion is and how deeply these people have fallen into the cult of personality surrounding Donald Trump. So once again, if you're a Christian, and you see someone being referred to as the Prince of Peace, you better darn well suspect them of being the Antichrist.